So for this demo, the scenario I set up is that we work for a particular unit at a hospital and we get Excel files every week that show the details of the patients we saw on our unit. And although this is a healthcare example, it would be relevant for any industry. So in this file, we see the details of all the patients we saw during that week. And these files are all added to a SharePoint document library. And the files from this SharePoint document library are used to update this Power BI report, which you can tell gives a lot of great visuals for all the patients we saw during that week. So we want that Power BI report to update every time a new Excel file is added to this document library. So let's go into Power Automate and set that up. The first thing we'll need to do is select our trigger action. So in our case, it's going to be when a new file is added to that SharePoint document library. So in the search bar uh, where we can search common triggers, we're gonna put SharePoint. And I'm going to select when a file is created in a folder. And now the first thing it's asking for is our SharePoint site address. And I'm going to use the dropdown to select the site. And the next thing is the folder ID. So this is the folder on our SharePoint site where the documents are stored. So now that I have both of those selected, I'll need to select uh, the next step, which will be to update the Power BI dataset. So I'm gonna click new step. And then where I search for a connector, I'm gonna type in Power BI. And you can see there are a lot of different options for what we can do in Power BI, but I am gonna scroll down and find refresh a data set. And now we'll need to fill in the workspace. And then also the data set that we want to refresh. 